What gives a girl power and punch? Is it charm? Is it poise? No, it's hairspray. What gets a gal? I'm going to show you, first of all, the blow drying. This is a new product. It's Ion Keratin Replenishing Mist. My hair is 80% dry. Uh, I'm trying to get the cameras and the lighting and everything so that you can see see the blow drying. You can see how curly my hair is. Um, you still enjoying my Dyson blow dryer. First of all, I rough dry it. I try to dry it down so I don't dry against the cuticle. Okay, now I take a clip and clip up all of it except for a little section in the bottom. I was showing you my brush. It's a, a Cricut. Um, my hair doesn't get caught in it, doesn't get wrapped around the handle. The barrel heats up and it seems to smooth my hair pretty good. All right, I'm going to sp spray each layer as I go to be sure I get all the pieces. Like I said before, I try to blow down on the cuticle so I don't rough up the cuticle. I try to focus on the ends so I can get those smooth. I'm still not happy with my lighting. That's why I'm jacking around over there in the corner. Alrighty. Okie doke. Back to the... Um, so I'm sectioning it off another piece. Another layer. Another layer of uh, ion spray. I uh, am on the sides I try to pull up so I can get some height. Definitely in the back. The back of my head is flat. It always looks, even when I haven't been sleeping on the back of my head, it looks like I've been sleeping on the back of my head. So I focus a lot on the back of my head, blowing, uh, trying to get some lift in the roots. And I was showing you there where I was smoothing, see, smoothing the, the ends so my ends don't look frazzled. They are frazzled because st I still have bleach blonde in the end of my hair. You can tell because my ends are, are lighter. The, the cuticle's blown out and the, it releases the color fast. Still trying to smooth the ends. I have two of those brushes. I think that's the larger one of the two. I don't know. 390, yeah, I think it's the larger one. Oh, I turned the dryer down because now that I'm at the front, it's it's 95% dry, and I just want to smooth it out. I don't want to cook it. Yeah, that's the 390. That's the bigger one. I don't want to cook it. I just want to smooth out the frizz. I'm bull pulling the back forward and the top forward so that when I flip it back, it'll have some height in the crown, hopefully. There we go. I'm when I'm finished, I give it a final mist, um, smooth it through going with the cuticle, not against the cuticle, and give it one more blow dry um, just to try to seal that cuticle down so that it doesn't get big and frizzy. Okay, I'm showing you what I look like. Backing off from the uh, camera so you can see the, the whole length. Can't get my lighting right. Alright, there we go. I decided to work on the bangs some more. 
There we go. Now I'm cleaning up. Oop, bye. Okay, now that my hair is dry, let's do let's do the curling iron. Uh, again, this is the curling iron I bought. Um, I don't remember how much it was. I got it at Ulta. Uh, it's fifty or sixty. I don't remember. Uh, if if I remember to, I when I edit this, I'll put the price right here. Okay. Um, first thing I do when when I do my hair okay is I use a uh, workable hairspray this one's called Amica uh, touchable hairspray and I put it through my hair, okay, and comb it through, make sure it's dry. I don't want to sizzle it, I just want it, I want it to, I want it to uh, be like a setting lotion, you know, back from the olden days. Okay, so I'm going to. I took the bottom part and I'm going to divide it in half. There. Divide it in half. I'm going to take about an inch piece at a time. My Iron is heated up. I have it set on about 390. And I'm going to take the clippy. And it's my hair slides real easy through this iron. Leaving the ends out. and then let it drop. Okay. I think my piece was too big. I'm having a hard time getting in, <laughs> getting into the rhythm. All right, there you go. And now I'm going to do the next one. All these pieces on this row, I'm going to, I, I'm going to curl away from my face. And this is this is the piece that's most to the middle of my head. All right, there you go. This will be easier for you to see on this side. In theory, okay, I'm going to slide it all the way up to the top. I'm leaving the ends out. Another way you can do it is uh, curl it, uh, curl it, let the top out, curl it, let the top out, like this. There. Next row. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and put some more hairspray on, get it dry, rub it in. All right. I'm going to curl away from my face. The front piece definitely will curl away from my face. I'm not going to roll the front towards my face. And I'm leaving the ends out. The next piece I'm going to curl towards my face. So that they don't nest in each other. And make one big doodle curl. And notice I'm not leaving it in very long. And the next one I'll roll back. And to the side that you can see, I'll roll this piece back or curl it back, leave the ends out. Why do I leave the ends out? Because it makes it look more trendy. And you don't wear your ends out as bad, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to curl this one towards my face. So it's cold and wet and dreary here today. Did any of you have a hard time uh, adjusting to the spring forward? I uh, I rather liked it that way when I wake up in the morning at early o'clock, which my body just naturally does. I look at the clock and I go, wow, I slept in today. I slept good. I know. It's just it's a mind game. All right. Uh, so today I washed my hair with the uh, Pureology. And conditioned with the Joy a Joyco mask. I'll put the name of it here. And then I didn't, the only styling, well you saw me put the, uh, the eye on stuff in it what when I was blow drying and then this Amika hairspray. All right. I'm trying to get this. I don't want to make a funky kink in it, so I'm just kind of rolling it and then putting it up there. All right. All right, let's I'm going to go ahead and roll this one back, curl this one back too. So 
So I'm having a snack. It's a it's a lemon lime zevia. I know. It sucks, doesn't it? It sucks to have a old person metabolism. And then I'm gonna go back over here. Okay, so are there any pointers I can give you? Okay, I've got the the little foot pulled, the kickstand pulled back. I open it. Uh, I'm holding it kind of diagonal, not horizontal. I'm uh, rolling backwards. Uh, holding it diagonal. That's, that's the direction. And then when I let go, if it looks like it's going to be too tight a curl, I pull on it while it's still warm. I know, that's what she said. See, there we go again. Kind of diagonal. Leave the ends out. I know. I, did, I haven't alternated on this side. If when I get done, if I see some curls trying to nest in each other, I'll, I'll show you what to do to fix that. I'm thinking this would be a problem right in here. There's a piece right there that's not curled. It's a lot of work on the day that you wash your hair, but then, you know, if you're old like I, <laughs> old like I am, your hair doesn't get dirty that fast anyway, and you just, you know, you just spruce it up each morning. You don't have to, you know, it's not so, it's worth it because it lasts until the next washing, more or less, which for me is probably I probably go like today is Monday. I'll probably wash it again on Friday. Pat Pat will be due home from uh being out of town on Friday afternoon and I may wash my hair. Friday, so it'll be fresh for when he gets home. For one, so I'll be pretty when he gets home, and for two, so that I won't be back here hostage, um, hair hostage for a couple of hours, styling my hair when he's only home, you know. Saturday and Sunday, and then he's gone again. All right, there you go. Here, let's get up in here. If you get up close to the root, you uh, get some more height. See? Okay, so, so far we have a gentle wave. And I need 
need to decide how I want to wear it. I'm probably wanting to wear it. I don't know, like that, maybe. So I'm going to start over here. Flip. Flip it away. Uh, flip it to the other side. And... There's one. I'm kind of angling it up so I'll get some. A little bit of height, a little lift off the roots. I didn't hold that piece long because I don't want it, you know, I don't want too much. Okay, this on the top, I like to have some height right in here. So I'm going to Letting the hairspray dry. Still, now I'm, cur I'm curling all of this away from my face. I have some pieces back here that I haven't gotten. I can see the, I can see the frizz. The good thing about this is it, is it, Smooths your hair if you have curly hair like I do, yet you don't end up with the pin straight hair. Um, I've been, I don't know, I think I've, maybe I've been told that the pin straight hair makes me look, I think some lovely person told me in the comments that the pin straight hair made me look like I was old enough to be Pat's mother or something. Somebody somebody worded it really delicately for me so it wouldn't hurt my feelings. So anyway, I I really don't care what any you know what some ugly person says. I think I I think I uh, am honest enough with myself that I can look in the mirror and know whether I look, whether what I did to myself looks flattering or not. And I think y'all know that too. How many times has I come on and told y'all that I look like two?
look like he could use a stiff one. 